Hey guys, it's Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy and I'm coming to you today with your tarot reading for the month of August for those uh, born under the sign or influence of Pisces energy. So if you have a Pisces rising sign, Pisces sun sign or Pisces moon, this reading is for you. Now, if you don't know those, I would highly recommend doing a free natal chart online. You will need to know your uh, time of birth in order to find the information. Uh, so let's get started, okay? Uh, so the overall energy for the month is actually the Five of Cups. So this tells me that there has been some level of loss that you've experienced in July. Um, but the Five is an energy that we have control over. Five also relates to transition energy. So anytime you are transitioning or changing into something new, there is going to be a sense of loss. But what's important with this is that it's not a total loss. It's just a loss of some. So there is definitely something beautiful that is there for you regardless. So, you know, take the time that you need to go through your healing process, even if that takes the entire month. Because um, I know for Pisces, you know, you can really feel things deeply as uh, water energy. Um, but know that this is not the end all be all. OK, now in the position of the house for uh, your personal identity, who you are, uh, you actually have the death card here. So death is all about transformation is complete uh, rewrite of who you've been into who you are becoming. Um, what I like about death energy, though, is it's not, you know, a sudden shift. It is a gradual um, outpouring of something new that occurs. It's a gradual transition. Um, and death is actually a major arcana in a tarot deck. So that tells me that this has also been happening for a little while. Um, or whatever this loss is that happened, um, I guess, coming into this month um, is initiating this transformation process in who you think you are and also how you as a person are choosing to show up in the world. So, um, I mean, right off the bat, this is going to be a powerful change agent month for you, um, primarily around your sense of self. OK, and of course, that affects literally all aspects of life. There's not going to be a part of your life that's not going to be affected by this change. Now, in your um, in your fourth house, which is the house related to your sense of security, uh, related to your um, emotional um, feeling, your emotional world, also your subconscious mind and past lives energy, you actually have the five of swords. So this tells me that, you know, there has been some kind of victory and it's a victory that's been hard won. And it's a victory that has um, had to happen um, because of, you know, some kind of negative energy that you've been around. So this could be, you know, related to family, you know, maybe you've been butting heads with a family member and you've really just kind of had to, um, you know, hold a, a strong boundary and, you know, you've come out on the other side, but it's not, you know, been the easiest thing, but you still come out the victor. It, it can be that kind of energy. Um, you know, it can be you may be winning a battle against um, personal fears. You know, this can be an internal battle, especially being in this position for the fourth house. Um, and you may be the victor here. So um, regardless, like, you know, you definitely are coming on, on top. And this is, again, another five energy. So another transition energy. So you are definitely lifting out of, um, you know, an old way of feeling as well, too, and, and creating a new emotional body, which is always interesting and exciting for Pisces. In your seventh house, you have the strength card, which is another major arcana. And your seventh house has to do with um, your relationships with people. And this can be, you know, friendships. It can be romantic partners, um, family members, co-workers, what have you. But it's, but it's basically the house of the other and how you are relating to them. And you have the strength card here. So this means that uh, possibly in this transformation process that you um, either have started or are currently undergoing and this victory and this this uh, transition and shift in how you are feeling and choosing to show up emotionally um, is being received as power and strength in your relationships. You're probably being much better about holding appropriate boundaries for yourself, of really um, making sure that 
you know, any power dynamics that are not um, for your highest benefit, you know, kind of get shut down and taken out, but also those that are really life affirming and um, are with people who are like hearted as well as like minded. Um, you know, those get strengthened here. So you have a lot of power and it is a beautiful balance that's here. Um, the strength card also represents Leo energy and Leo is really about you shining forth with your true gifts. So that means that even though you are going through this massive transformation that's happening, the truth of your being is still, in, still shining through in your relationships, which is huge because there's so many people who tend to lose themselves in relationships. You know, they kind of go away and it always becomes about the other instead of about their their own personal needs and how they need to show up so um, kudos to you for that now in your 10th house you actually have the page of wands the 10th house has to do with your career uh, also your purpose how um how your reputation is in the world and to have this page of wands energy pages are for me, call to actions, calls to action. And wand energy is creative energy. So, you know, this to me is you starting on a new path of creativity, of creative expression, of new connections. And it's being seen because this is at the top of your chart. So it's being recognized now. People are noticing the shift. Excuse me, but this is also just the beginning of this journey. You have, um, once you pass through the page stage, you get into the knight, then the queen, and then the king. So there is a beautiful opportunity for maturity and growth in whatever this new path is. So keep moving forward. In the center of your reading, which is related to uh, you know the heart, the desires, the, the essence that you know, makes you you in terms of your soul purpose here, um, your soul objective, I guess you could say, you actually have the Ace of Swords. And that's a beautiful energy because it speaks to um, purity of thought, uh, clarity of decision making. It denotes an ability to um, know the difference between judging something and discerning something, which is important when it comes to um, really making a, a a case for whether something needs to stay in your life or not, whether someone needs to stay in your life or not, um, and really um, carving out for yourself new parameters, new belief systems, new thought patterns, uh, new ways of operating in the world. It's a really powerful energy, and I love this card because um, the sword pierces a crown, which speaks to um, sitting in a place of royalty in uh, kingship in your own dominion so yeah it's a powerful month for you Pisces a lot of transformation um, you know that emotionally may be tough however what it looks like is on the outside and how the world is perceiving and how um, you know the work that you've done up to this point is working is um it's really only temporary and there's a lot of beautiful things opening up, a lot of creativity. And predominantly it looks like, you know, a lot of mental and creative energy. So most likely moving forward, you know, depending on how long it takes you to, to pass through this grieving process of transition, you're probably not gonna be as emotional <laughs> a feeling sign as you've been in the past like I think a lot of that is really going to be dissipated for you moving forward and you know you are really about to show up as a boss so you know whether that shows up in this month or in September when the energy shifts um, that definitely is the trajectory that you are on so ride that wave and um, you know stay strong with your strength <laughs> stay true to yourself if you'd like to get a personal um, astrology or tarot reading with me or even do any healing work, you can check out my services on innersunalchemy.com um, and feel free to reach out if you have questions about what service is going to be best for you and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Have a blessed October and if you haven't already, be sure to look at my 
astrology forecast for the month of August. This is a powerful month in the stars. There's a lot of change happening with the eclipses and the retrograde and, you know, everything. So, um, yes, definitely go through and look at that. The link for that should actually be below. And um, please use this information to catapult you into the best life possible. I will see you next month and much love and blessings to you. Bye.